To the human eye, the universe can seem a peaceful place, but the universe is full of extremes, situations where the laws of physics are pushed to their breaking point. Nowhere is this more true than in a black hole, an object whose gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. Black holes are exactly what you think they are. They're these objects uh, that are the perfect prisons, the, the edge of, of safe, the safe part of the universe into which things go and they never come back out. And so what we're seeing here is material flowing out in that jet. Mm -hmm. Avery Broderick is a researcher at the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Waterloo. He's also a member of a unique international experiment called the Event Horizon Telescope. An event horizon is what physicists call the boundary of a black hole. It's not a solid barrier, but a threshold beyond which nothing can escape. For more than a decade, scientists behind the Event Horizon Telescope project have been working to capture an image of this theoretical boundary. And now they've done it. This view of the central region of the galaxy M87 is as close as humanity has ever come to seeing the unseeable. It's the first direct image of a black hole. I think that this is an iconic image. Um, you know, something so, sort of like uh, the pale blue dot, which reminds us that we're, we're all in, on this, this small planet together, or, or Earthrise on the moon. Uh, but maybe a more sinister one, right? We really do have these monsters in the night that, that uh, are capable of taking material in and never giving it back. At this point, you may be wondering how it's possible to take a picture of something that gives off no light. Well, if a black hole is just sitting quietly against the dark background of empty space, you would indeed be out of luck. But black holes draw matter in, and as it approaches, the matter forms a rotating disk that becomes superheated in the high gravity, high energy environment around the black hole. It's in contrast to that glowing backdrop that the dark edge of the black hole, the event horizon, can be discerned. Actually, we're seeing this hot ionized gas swirling about the black hole. And we see the horizon cast as a shadow in, uh, upon this bright emission. The image confirms that the black hole in M87 is vast, larger than our entire solar system. But it's also more than 50 million light years away, buried deep in the heart of a distant galaxy that contains one trillion stars and sports a bright jet of material shooting out from its core. At that distance, the black hole appears about as large as this marble would look to us if it were sitting on the moon. No ordinary camera can reveal such a challenging target. Instead, the Event Horizon Telescope uses radio dishes, lots of them, spread around the globe in places like Chile, Hawaii, and the South Pole. Together, those antennas can operate like one giant receiver the size of Earth. This combined antenna then maps the radio waves emitted by the ring of hot gas around the black hole, and the results show a lot of interesting detail. So there are two striking features. In, in this first image. The first is the large circular shadow. This is literally the shadow of the event horizon cast on the surrounding bright emitting plasma. The second obvious element of this image is that the ring is not perfectly symmetric. While it is circular, one side appears brighter than the other. And that's because we're looking at a relativistic environment. Relativistic means that the matter and the signals it's giving off are being affected by gravity, which distorts both space and time according to the rules of Einstein's theory of general relativity. It's because of relativity that scientists first realized decades ago that black holes might actually exist. Now the story has come full circle. With this image, Broderick and his colleagues have opened a new frontier where scientists can explore the laws of physics in ways that were once considered beyond our reach. Black holes are, are literally gravity run amok, um, space-time falling into itself. And so this presents us a stage, an environment, in which to study general relativity with ever-increasing precision.